Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're doing another Tankard of Truth. It's been a little while since the last one of these, I think I've just been very lapsed over the New Year period. Actually that's not very true at all, but we'll get into that in a minute. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at your questions again because I love reading them. And they've sort of gone from more being general questions to being more about would you rather, which is kind of not really what I was going for, but it's okay. We'll, we'll just stick with it for this episode. Maybe if you've got any questions that aren't would you rather, that'd be kind of cool as well. So post them in this video. Anyway, the first question today from the Tangent of Truth is from Canaanite. Speaking of the questions which are kind of like those situations, you've been given a box containing unlimited money. If only I could actually have one of these in real life. But every time you open it, two people die. How many times would you open it? Well, I think... Hang on, wait, so every time you open it, you get unlimited money if you open it. So why would you need to open it more than once? This is thinking tea time. Um, well, logically, you wouldn't need to open it more than once. So, I guess once. But, then you have the mystery of what happens if you open it the second time, already having gained unlimited money. Which kind of is temptation enough, I guess. So probably twice. So yeah, Canaanite, that's not even a question. You answered it yourself, God damn it! Okay, well, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I feel like all weird. It's cold outside, it's winter time. Apparently there's snow falling across the UK. I've not experienced any snow in Reading yet, which is kind of crazy. But I'm also kind of glad that it hasn't happened. Because I don't want to miss things. I want to go outside and have a fun time. Although I could build a snowman if there was snow, so there's always that possibility. What am I talking about? I'm like five years old mentally. This one is from jo Joachim Fajerli. I am really terrible with names. I'm sorry, I've just bit butchered it. How bad is your vision? Um, my vision is not terrible. Uh, I am short-sighted, which means that I can't see things at a distance, which is why I have to wear glasses all the time. Short-sighted and long-sighted, I always get them confused. Long-sighted is when you can see things at a distance, but you can't see them close up. So you couldn't read a book, for example. But yeah, I'm, I'm short-sighted. Um, these aren't actually my normal glasses. I, I have to wear these ones because they've got the non reflecty kind of film on them, which is why they're sort of green on the screen there. But anyway, that's really not interesting. So yeah, um, I, um, I think it's minus one and a half on both, but I also have a slight stigmatism in my right eye, which basically means that I'm all wonky. And actually, very interesting fact, um, when I go to... You know people talk about, like, 2020 vision, right? It's like, oh, the best vision you can have. Um, when I had my eyes tested last time, I managed to read such a small line on the chart and, like, performed all these other tests with, like, I don't know what they do. I was going to say shine lasers in your eye, but that would probably be very counterproductive. Um, but, yeah, it turns out that I actually have better than 2020 vision. But because... <laughs> because I'm still short-sighted, without my glasses, I have 20-20 vision, but with them on, I see in, like, super high def. And I'm, I don't think that's very... I think that's quite rare, because she seemed kind of shocked that I read the thing that I did. By the way, that's an interesting fact about me. That's, like, um, a really rubbish X-Men power, isn't it? Being able to see good, but kind of badly good. <laughs> okay, so let's do another question. I am, like, I have missed doing these. I do like a good old ramble from now and again. Okay, this one is from Jack Calvin, or Colvin. I can't even read my own handwriting. What have I? What has the word come to? What is your favourite genre of music slash band? Have I not done. I think I've done this one, haven't I? I can't really remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll do it again because why not? It doesn't really matter. I really like rock and metal music. And my favourite band, I'm sort of like switching between two at the moment. I think all-time favourite band would have to be Rise Against. Uh, they're really good. I've liked them for about seven years now, which is kind of a crazy amount of time. And then my second favourite, questioning first in longevity, is um, A Day to Remember. A Day to Remember is really good. I like them. And I just like a lot of bands, like Seether. If this is giving you any indication as to the type of like music I go for, I hope it is, because it's sort of like... I think I'm becoming heavier. My music taste is becoming heavier as I'm getting older. Which, uh, I don't know, maybe when, ironically, I'm really old, I'll be into death metal. Which is kind of ironic, isn't it? Okay, let's do another question. Oh god, I just glugged a load of tea. That did not feel good. This one is from... Jenny Boy Spiller, which is a fantastic name. Will you ever webcam with Mrs. Parky? 
Um, this has been something that I have been thinking about. Now, if you've watched the previous episodes of The Tang of Truth, um, I will have mentioned that basically I'm currently living in a basement flat, which is why there's terrible lighting and you get to look at this radiator. Oh, actually, speaking of the radiator, look! Um, Santa person is still there, radiator Santa. Um, it became the season for Christmassy stuff again, so he was already out and enjoying the Christmas tree and the festivities. But alas, that has now gone. Christmas tree gone long time ago, but Christmas Santa is still there. Because, of course, I can't get rid of him, because he's now become a thing. Anyway, what's it talking about? Yeah, the bad light and everything in here. Um, I'm in a flat that I'm moving out of in about five months' time. Uh, we're going to go somewhere where there's possibly more space and also which is above ground, which sounds like such a really obvious thing for a, a settlement to be above ground, but I've, I am used to living underground. I look at these steps out, outside the front of the room. I should like maybe do a flat tour before I leave here, so you can sort of judge where I live. I think that might be kind of cool. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a, a tank of truth in the future at some point. Anyway, um, yeah, so... The reason I don't really want to do too much webcam stuff at the moment is that I'm a real stickler for quality and this doesn't really give me the best quality for face camming and yeah, I kind of want to put it off. And also I need a better setup um, for recording with someone else in the same physical room as me. I mean it's fine when you record with people over the internet but when you're starting to do it in the same room it kind of gets a bit difficult. So yeah, that's, that's things to look forward to, I guess. I'd like a green screen as well, because I want to get rid of all this shit in the background. Okay, what else are we talking about? The next question is from... Oh my god, my hands. Um, is from Music for the Day. Have you enjoyed your university life? What did you study? So I am currently, for those of you who don't know, in my final year of university. I've been doing it for a long time. It's a four-year course. I've literally got about three months left of it. So I'm currently writing my big dissertation rubbish, um, which I might mention in another episode because I'm going, I might use you guys as test subjects for my website that I've created. If you don't know, I've got a, an official website that I've created, which is kind of part of my dissertation stuff. So anyway, Aside from all that, uh, I, I'm i doing a degree in computer science and it is possibly one of the hardest degrees you can choose just because there's a lot of really complicated shit in it. And actually I think it was voted like one of the... It, every year they do like you need stupid rankings in, in university, I don't know, newspapers and stuff where they say, oh, what are the 10, 10 hardest university degrees that you can possibly do in the whole world? And computer science almost always comes first, so good job, me, for choosing like the most difficult thing in the world. However, um, I do enjoy some of it. In the past, it's been too difficult to the point where I've not enjoyed it at all. But it's one of those things where at university, you need to be really careful about what you choose because you go into when you when you choose which degree to do in the first place, uh, you have many options of what you should choose. Things that will make you money, like the sciences things that won't make you money, which are basically all of the sort of artsy-fartsy things, um, then also whether you're doing something that you want to because you enjoy it. And I think computer science was sort of a mix of both. Like, luckily, I enjoy it in general, but it also pays quite nicely. I, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that ignoring all of the sort of career stuff and, like, how much you're being paid, um, if, if, for example, you like history, history is your thing, right, maybe it's not best to do it at university because it will ruin your love of the subject. Whatever you do, it will ruin it because you have to do it as part of your education and you have to do things that you don't... Like, within history, you probably end up learning about the plague. I, I don't even know if that's a thing. Probably not. Um, and you might hate the plague, but you have no choice. You have to do it. So I think it's important to get the balance right. You need to choose something that you enjoy enough that you can put up with for four years or three years, however long your course is, but also something that isn't going to ruin your enjoyment of the subject that you personally really love. And also, really, don't go for degrees that don't have any sort of career prospects because it's not worth it. The amount of people that I have made friends with at university who are doing, like, English, history, um, art... Just things like that. They just leave university and half of them still haven't even got a job like eight months after they left when they graduated last year. 
it's not good. So anyway, yeah, I don't know where... I, yes, I did enjoy it, but it's too difficult. That's my answer. Okay, let's do one more question. I think I've rambled on far too much today. Uh, and this last one is actually going to be from Andrew Harmon. Have you ever had cold sweet tea? And if so, did you enjoy it? Cold sweet tea? I don't know what you mean by sweet tea. Are you just talking about when you just put sugar in tea? Or is sweet tea like a specific breed of tea? It might be, I don't know if it's a breed. Tea can't even breed, what am I talking about? But you get my gist. I, I don't think so. No, I don't really like cold hot drinks. Cold hot drinks. But like, if a cup of tea, like this one right now, goes cold, which it probably has done now because I've been rambling for so long, then I will not drink it. I'm one of these people that I'll take it to the microwave and heat it up. Why did these episodes always result in me talking about drinks? The answer is no. I've not ever had iced tea of any kind. I don't, I'm not one of these people that has like a, a coffee martini, which apparently are really nice, so maybe I would have one of those. Anything with alcohol in it makes it slightly more enjoyable to me. However, no. And I don't really plan on it because it sounds disgusting. Well, it seems like a good place to leave today's episode. Um, if you've enjoyed it, then please do leave your questions below. I could really do with some more. I'm running out. And please leave ratings on the video because it really does help support the series. I really need to learn to do these more often, don't I? I was trying to aim to do them every two weeks, but that's kind of not happened. So I'm going to try hard for you guys, the core fans of the Tangent of Truth. I'm going to do more of this, so don't worry. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward, goodbye. Awkward.